It's almost 7 in the morning. I'm here in Ocala. Yeah, Ocala Forest. Um, so I came here last night. I didn't find a place to stay. So I slept on the side of the road in my car. It wasn't too bad. Except for, you know, the biting flies. I left the window just a little bit open. And I got like little red marks all over me. Yeah, they suck. Also, I kind of got pulled over. Nice little cop, he talked to me and like, oh, just making sure you're okay and everything. He's a pretty cool guy. But here, yeah, Okada's really nice. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. This is like a little rest stop area that I'm at. Well, not rest stop, more of a, what do they call that? Visitor center. It's right over there. Man. Visitor center. But they're not even open yet. So. It's really nice here. It reminds me of the big cypress. Just the way the trees are. And I don't know, the, the feel. It feels like big cypress. But I'm going to go get some gas. Hopefully just down the road. And then ask people. They have a map section, but I don't know. I'll check and see just some nice trails to do for the day. And I'll spend the whole day here hopefully filming. And taking pictures and I'm not even in focus. I, mean, I have one job. One job. National Forest, and all right. So I'm, I'm here in Ocala National Forest, National Park, National Forest. Same difference, right? Oh, look at that. That's cool. And there's a place called Alexander Springs. I got a bug in my eye. Nature just doesn't like me today. So as I'm, as I was saying, I'm here in Alexander Springs, which. Inside of Alexander Springs, I'm in a trail called Timokian? Timokian? Timokian Trail. And it's pretty nice so far, except for the whole spider webs every two feet and the bug in my eye. But other than that, it's really nice. And you can kind of see. Mm, maybe not. I have my glide cam with me, so I'm gonna try and take some videos too. Other videos for the other videos. And pictures. And it's actually quite a lot. It's worth it. Alright, so probably just come gonna come in and out. A couple of shots here and there between both. But this trail's interesting. It really reminds me of Big Cypress. It has a very similar vibe, but you can feel it's a little bit northern. I have no idea what makes that sound. It's super loud. I'm here doing my thing going through this nice little trail, which is actually, it's really pretty here. Just, I should have been, yeah, I have my spiderweb stick, but I don't have my mosquito deet. I probably, probably should have got some deet. Yeah, that wasn't very bright on me. Look at that shit. Really? Really? You have one job, pick up your damn trash. It's not that hard. But yeah, this trail reminds me of Big Cypress. Like, seriously. What the hell do you guys do here? I don't know if you can quite really tell. But there is a sinkhole in there. Nice. Actually, let's go up to it. Why not? I already got mosquitoes. So I got spiders. Son of a... Ow! Okay. This is not a good idea. This shit hurts so much. But yeah. Sinkhole. 
Very cool. <sighs> Collapsed limestone. Seriously. I really need to get some deep. But then again, I'm kind of an idiot. Yeah, I'm not exactly very bright. It is the wet season. What the fuck was I thinking? It's wet season, and I didn't bring deet. And those little flies were eating me all night. The mosquitoes are eating me all day. I need to eat something. God. Man, I have this stick for the spider webs, and I still run into spider webs. Like, really? I am so unprepared. Yeah, I need to get me some deet. What's that? Just trying to enjoy it. Bare feet? No, like actual bare feet? I also should have used my hiking shoes instead of my street sneakers. Magically, after walking for another four minutes, the elevation changed. And with that came different ground, I would say. Instead of being like a muddy mixture, it's now sandy. So it leads to more of these palms that can grow in it. And it's a different kind of pine forest. It's also not as wet. The sand doesn't retain moisture the same way as dirt. So the mosquitoes are pretty much gone. For the most part, I don't want to Murphy's Law, you know. But yeah, it's a lot nicer here. This is more relaxing. Plus, I haven't caught so many spider webs. All right, I lied. There's still mosquitoes. But not as many. Spider. All right. And it's going to change right now. You can see it in the dirt. Oh. In the trees. You can tell you're still in Florida, but these spider webs. I like this pine area more. Oh, that wasn't me. Here we go. The pine. Huh, I got tons of those back in Miami. I still. I have no idea what bird makes all these noises. I think it's really cool. Oh, let's see what kind of tree. What are we looking at? Southern pine. That was Alexander Spring. Man, that place is really nice. I was really, I was actually surprised. The water was really clean and clear. I wasn't gonna taste it. It's not the ocean. I don't taste the fresh water. At least not in this country. New Zealand, I do it in army. It was nice. Nice little hike or walk. Walk. It was mostly a boardwalk. Um, I need some DEET like yesterday because I am bit up everywhere by these little flies, no seams, mosquitoes. And apparently, this other place that these people told me to go to, um, I was asking them because they had to charge five bucks to get in, just per person, five bucks, just to go in and take a walk around, which is ridiculous because I mean, I bought the pass, the yearly pass for the national park since it's a national park but they don't qualify, so I don't know, that was really dumb. The thing is, they all do that here. So if I wanted to go to a couple different springs, I'm gonna be five bucks here, five bucks there, five bucks there, and then that's gonna add up too quickly. So I'll do the one spring, and then now I'm gonna go to another little trail, which is more of a historical trail from some family that came here and wanted to settle this place, and then they found out they couldn't farm anything, so they just had cattle and something with a, what do they call it? it was, I don't know, something in a cemetery. Go we'll check it out, it'll be cool. But when I first got there, to this Alexander Spring, it was nice and peaceful. It was so calm and everything was beautiful. And I'm like, oh, you can swim here. That's cool, I guess. You can you know, go swimming in the water. It must be nice and refreshing. And the fresh water's clean. It was super, super, super clear. And then after I went to walk, I walked around. It was about a mile, mile and a half or so, I think. 1.2, maybe. Not that much. And I came back out. And there were like tons of people and tons of kids in the water just having a party. And it kind of took away from the whole natural thing, but hey, whatever, they're having fun and they're outside, so good for them. Right. I'm going to hopefully try and spend the rest of the day over here in Ocala. And by rest of the day, I mean <laughs> probably just another three hour, four hours. 
actually 18-18. And then I'm gonna head over to St. Augustine. I don't know, God, I probably have to pay for that too, don't I? But I'm gonna check out St. Augustine, probably edit that night. I need to edit, and then I need to write. My friend got me a journal. Thingy. Very cool looking. So I gotta do that tonight. Oh, I hope my camera doesn't fall. Oh, no, we're good. So I'm gonna do all that tonight. And then off I go from who knows where. I'll figure that out when I get there. New plan. Um, I'm not gonna stay in Ocala. Everywhere you go, you just have to pay money just to stay there. And then the one place that the guy told me about, I was thinking, oh, I can go out there and camp because he's like, oh, it's three or four miles. But you can't park overnight. And I don't know if I'd want to do that just in the day. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it was that fun to do just in the day. I wanted to do it. You go out there and then spend the night and come back the next day, but I can't leave my car. They'll tow it. So that's a bust. Oh, yeah. Right now I'm off to St. Augustine, but I'll probably go somewhere on I-95 to a rest stop, get some computer techie stuff done, because I haven't done that in a while. Probably look for some work too, like find some photography jobs. And that's it. Yeah. I guess that's it. Oh, and then St. Augustine. I want to go to St. Augustine probably today maybe if I can get there today I don't know how long the editing is gonna take it's gonna take a long time and then I have to eat and I need to take a nap I'm tired so St. Augustine yeah that's the next one hopefully